convert this to two to three. Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I hope you're all having an absolute magical day, and thank you so much for taking the time to support the channel. Ooh, Arlen Soul Stomper is the name of the game. This is a four color soul emancipation deck. Uh, you know, absolutely crazy card for seven mana, destroying three non-land permanents when it enters. Its controller makes the three three angels in lieu of. So this is super versatile. You can control your opponent's threats. You can, you know, take care of some tokens of your own to make now even stronger tokens with flying, which is fantastic. And, uh, you know, playing this also today with flash, we have mystical reflection as well, which can copy it. You know, you just have a field of these avatars. Okay, so I'm gonna break down the deck list in depth for you, talking about the strategies, the synergies, we'll showcase this within Mythic, uh, the gameplay ranked, of course, and then we'll wrap up with our final thoughts, deck review, stuff like this, right? Uh, ordering two boxes of cards yesterday, Commander Legends Boulder Gate and the Streets of New Capenna, uh, both standard uh, set boosters, um, boxes, right? Uh, and we will be incorporating this into our daily videos at the end of each video, opening a pack, I don't have any for you yet, but those are on the way. I look forward to this. But until then, let's take a look at the deck. Heyo! So make sure to support the channel, you guys. The YouTube algorithm has been killing me, right? Like the video, give me a comment, some well wishes, and, uh, you know, most importantly, sit back and enjoy, because this is a 60-card standard best-of-one mythic build with a 2.7 average mana value. We have a perfect split, 18 Creatures, 18 non-creatures, things are balanced nicely there with our 24 lands. Arlen, Pax Hope, one of our main cards in the deck as a Planeswalker for Loyalty Daybound or Loyalty Nightbound as well. Plus one, until your next turn, you may cast creature spells as though they had flash. Each creature you control will enter the battlefield with an additional plus one, plus one counter on it. Minus three, create two, 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 green wolf creature tokens. Nightbound as the Moon's Fury... We can plus two to add two mana, a one red source, one green source, fantastic ramp. Zero, becoming a five five with trample, indestructible, and haste, which is nice as the ba -ba -ba body, right? So that's Arlen. She is getting down and dirty through both the plus one ability and the minus three ability, daybound, and nightbound, utilizing that plus two ability for the ramp. And well, what are we ramping into? It's the soul of emancipation for seven, a five seven. Avatar, and when it enters the battlefield, destroy up to three other target non-land permanents. For each of those permanents, its controller will create a 3-3 white angel creature token with flying. Wow. Very, very good. So it's easy to destroy your own creatures, make a bunch of 3-3s, continue to attack your opponent. You can, you know, take out two of your tokens for the, the angels or whatever it happens to be. Uh, maybe they have one thing that's a threat. You can take care of that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? And then, uh, you know, they... Uh, we'll have angels as well sometimes. So, you know, let's make our creatures bigger than theirs because we will have 3-3 three, three angels. They will have 3-3 three, three angels. Oh, wait a minute. Ours are 4-4. Four, four. Say what? Wedding, announcement, and festivities. An enchantment for three. And at the beginning of your end step, put an invitation counter on the announcement. And if you've attacked with two or more creatures this turn, draw a card. Otherwise, create a 1-1 one, one white human creature token. Then if the announcement has three or more invitation counters on it, transform it into the festivities. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one as the transformed festivities. That will, again, make our three, three angels, four, fours. And now, you know, we've got bigger angels than you. Ha, 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 ha. In similar aspect, the Enganjo's Uprising for two plus X, creating X, two, two, green, uh, green. What the heck? White samurai creature tokens with vigilance. They gain menace and haste until the end of turn. Each opponent creates uh, X minus one, two, two samurai creature tokens with vigilance. So again, this is nice because they'll be creating two twos. We'll be creating three threes at base value, right? And now it does get spicy when we break away and start talking about the mystic reflection for two mana at instant speed. Choose a target non-legendary creature. The next time one or more creatures uh, or planeswalkers enters the battlefield this turn, they enter as copies of the chosen creature. Ooh wee. So there's plenty of token generation in the build, right? We've seen Uprising. We've seen Announcements. We've seen Arlen, uh, Pax Hope. We also have the Essica's Chariot. When it enters play, create two, two, two cat creature tokens. This is also fantastic because now the Chariot can copy the token of the Mystic Reflection, right? Omega Wolves. And then furthermore, a single copy of the World Sculptor. Six mana, five, five. When it enters a play, create four, uh, sorry, sorry, uh, uh, not four, uh, X, zero, one plant tokens where X is equal to the number of basic lands you control. 
landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, put four plus one plus one counters on a target plant that you control. Uh, so this is very nice here as well because, um, you know, all those bodies that it's making, we have uh, what, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, basic lands in the deck. This is something that we could potentially tune up in a future version, but it's only one copy. You know, it's really just in here to make uh, a couple plant tokens. That's all we need. Um, but main focus here is the soul of emancipation oh, as always uh so those are the different ways that you can easily create tokens uh to utilize with your mystic reflection um you know whether you're taking a stomper to get the rest of your basics out of your library or a sculptor uh to make all of those uh insects right or plants i should call them insects and plants are so similar to me it's just like both are gross <laughs> Anywho, you know, that's kind of your main objective uh, offensively. Defensively, you know, you have March to deal with the Angels for one because you're going to give those, those to them those tokens. So dealing with other things or dealing with the Angels that you give them at a, you know, really cheaply. Mail safekeeping, protecting your uh, Soul of Emancipation or whatever it happens to be. Ramp through the Sentinel and through the Gold Hound, right? That's really going to help us cast the 7 drop a little bit earlier, right? So Jesperia ramp, Gold Hound ramp, Innkeeper ramp. Stomp our ramp, um, you know, soul of emancipation. Let's go, baby. Um, and then, you know, ideally mystic reflection on the soul of emancipation for some other tokens, the uprising, uh, the hope, the chariot, and then, you know, the chariot's going to copy the soul of emancipation. And then, you know, you just have destroy everything, make some angels. And, you know, ideally your angels are going to be bigger. They're going to be badder. Uh, and of course, you know, Three turns of one ones now to turn into three threes with flyers uh, and have transform into four fours is absolutely fantastic. So having just a lot of fun with the deck, uh, calling it Arlen Soul Stomper. I think that's a fantastic name for it. And, um, you know, as far as adjustments go, we'll touch more on this as we wrap up. But I think it's just incorporating a few more basics into the build. We didn't have too much trouble with our mana availability color wise just you know general shuffle shuffler shenanigans right flooding bricking uh, i think one game i drew every single land we had almost with the stomper which is pretty funny um but nonetheless a fantastic deck and uh i honestly overlooked soul of emancipation in the spoilers and uh, it is getting down it is getting dirty and um you know we don't even have righteous valkyrie in the deck and we're popping this hard right so uh stay tuned for more spicy brews thanks for watching make sure to like the video comment subscribe this really does help support uh you know my career gets me paid helps keep the lights on and if you want to go above and beyond you know patreon youtube membership uh twitch primes and whatever uh, and just direct support through the donations uh, that we have set up as well it all helps you guys just the, the standard engagement thank you all so much for this and anything above that wolf right cheers enjoy today's gameplay and we'll wrap up after that okay here's my question how do two people have the same rank who's the real 371 mm. nice i say they can have 371 i'll take 300 you keep 371 but i'll move on up Real slow here. Oh, ramp. Oof. Our hand OP. Which planes do I take? Ah, this one. No protection. Great chilling. Might be able to minus Arlen. Might also just want area at first. Important for us to protect that. We also stop the learn, which is nice. Oh. 
part one. Problem. Okay. Now this I can get behind. No box. Keep this thing alive. It's like we don't really have anything good to copy. Yeah, you do. Humans and werewolves existed in a delicate balance, but it's been up. Snag that. Make two of them. There are no lone Woof, here. baby. These are also tokens, I believe, right? One of them. Big swing, let's go. Copy it for a third. I caramba. You keep 371. I'm sure they have field wipes and stuff, right? If they don't have a field wipe. Okay. It's time for a haircut, eh, chat? Who's getting pretty wacky? Debating what to do here. Restoration. Hard land. Or well, first search for something. They might even just take the farmhand back. Probably play that this turn, actually. They've not played a land yet. Thank you for the win con, my <laughs> what are we going to copy it? Just Furious Sentinel? You know what I mean? <laughs> we don't have anything of our own here. Ooh, I got an innkeeper. It's pretty cool. We can do all this now um, at flash speed with these creatures. Just a nice attack. And remember, we're at flash, so we flip tonight by not casting creatures at main phase. We have the Arlen emblem side. There are magic flash and plus one plus one. We could, if they do something crazy, we could have it make it to enter as a copy of just Furious Sentinel. It also use Reflected defensively, right? Oh! Well, it's both an offensive and defensive spell. Oh, we have fun. Did invent the wheel. It's in a previous generation. Or we may have been the crooked spoke adjacent. Hard to tell. It depends on the day. The day depends on the match. That was amazing. Really enjoyed that.
first, um, a unique hand, but it's not bad. Right, I mean, turn to innkeeper, announcement, that's gonna sustain us with life gain. Hopefully we can ramp into the soul, and then it even actually provides us with... Oh, that's a little bit of help on that ramp front, baby. Let's go. Oh, yo, yo. We'll probably play this four. There's no need to play it three, right? Literally, we played on six. Get that seventh land. Get surged. Okay, so this is like a Rakdos. Sacrifice, mono red aggro. Mono red aggro. The life gain would have it can match up. Monk would keep pulling lands into the soul of emancipation. Hey, okay. I'll trade. Oh? Not good. Really bad here. Yikes. Oh, wow. Freaking god hand coming in, Randy. Five, six, can we please get a land off the top? It's a war two, we can't even kill that. Menace there. Good. In here for seven? Wow. Uh well no, I'm gonna not block, but anyways. Good for them. Down to 12. Oh, it's a tap time. Three. Got our treasure. attacks just let them all flip to threes we need that land baby we need that land yo we have decent blockers now at least though I hope. I don't know what this card is. They could kill one of our blockers on the double block. The two or the three, and then the patchwork survives. Not great. Yeah. Ow! Is that your third Voltaic Surge? Shuffler's fine. Don't ask questions. So we can swing. Nine life plus protection. Maybe we can swing this around. Oh, that's good though. Definitely not bad. <laughs> Definitely not bad, yo. Good enough either though. That it where's your resolve? Where's the resolve? Take another turn. I think for nine. If I don't defend. You'll have the experimental synthesizer to stack. 
I'll allow it. All right, this is a mulligan. Boss. Experience Sentinel out. Reaper is a go. Maybe they'll have something good for us to copy. Certainly that. Worried about the, what's happening to it. Bagel, please. What is going on here? I am nervous. Magic. Don't want to spend the treasure. Is not good. <laughs> Taking control of my creatures. When it enters the battlefield, gain control of target creature as long as you control the mind flare. Five mana, three, three. Scary stuff. I can hit for three. No, there's counter magic. Hold up. Fourth mana. What if we Arlen minus the reflection on the Stomper? I guess we already have two basics. This might increase the... That's kind of why I want Stomper instead of Arlen. One saw it coming. Or oh, there's smoke, there's fire. Ouch. Oh, I almost double click all attack. Whoops. Yeah, we probably want to wait. Poppy. Like, if they play the Mind Flare, we want to play the Mind These are all three or less. The thing is, we just wouldn't be able to take their Mind Flare, which would be... That would be cool. There's another counter. I almost want to save it. It is another counter we need to get through it. Feel your hair standing on end? Our hunt draws near. On my a plus. Board, the hunt begins. Keep her alive. You know, I'm hoping they play something cool and we can make the wolves onto it, right? The Dragon's Guard Elite's not the worst. Best either, though.
a plus is kind of dangerous to attack into, right? Because you, like, you know that there's going to be a creature coming down. Not in this particular situation, but it's something that you would expect. Like, why would you plus if not to play a creature? Should have been a white source, my bad. Might get in trouble for being greedy. The announcement uh, token's a 2-2, though. Right, so that's alright. Just need a good target. We could get hit for two. Nice trade. I had to play this like a limited match. I have no idea what's happening. Five, this will be six, seven. Wolf, wolf, baby, let's go. Then we can Mystic Reflection our Soul of Emancipation. We have nice defenders here. Elite, that's fine. Lots of counter magic. Awesome that we dodged Essence Capture, right? Add the mana. Our mana hogs makes the cycle nice and cheap. We don't have a white source. If this was a white source, we would be uh, doing some pretty crazy stuff here. Wow. They might super block that, and I'm not really into it. I want to keep that soul around. Still being greedy here. Ah, uh, that's not a white source. Come on. Come on! If they double cast, Arlen goes today, and then we can minus with a reflection. Branch loft pathway definitely should have been a white sword. Whoops. Good to point out your um, you know, your transgressions. <laughs> Your misplays. Bagel, please. Is that bagel? Like beagle? Or bagel? Oh, I don't think I've ever had to literally spell out. And I like how I'm referring to spelling as being forced. I've never had to. <laughs> cool. 
dog. Right? They bounce Arlen. Interesting. Which is actually... Oh no, because it'll still enter at night. There we go. No! No! We're about to Mystic Reflection, the Nganjo's Uprising. And they'll actually have Haste and Menace as well, right? So, uh, one, two, that leaves us four, which is, uh, and the land, which would be three. Uh, Soul of Emancipation is coming down. Whoa. Going first, um, you know, I actually don't think this is too bad of a hand. Obviously, we're going to need some luck on those land draws, but it opens up nicely. Everything that we want to be here is here. Um, we do have the, the Triumph, so that Plains is taken care of. <laughs> oh gosh, Mono Green is not really what I want to see. Pretty quick at their matches. Maybe if we can just gain a bunch of life. I mean, we're nowhere near it. They have protection themselves. That's pretty brutal for us. Wow. That's very bad for us. I don't think we're coming back from that. Because we discarded to cast that. Should have just protected. Wow, that is not good. Talk about playing from behind. We're gonna play something better than that. We're gonna play something better than that pack leader. Not a good start by any means. Another Blizzard Brawl? Wow. Watch the Masters rebuke it from underneath. <laughs> like, what the? That nice cost one blue mana. I don't know if you've seen that. Wow, that's a special nice. Incredible. Blizzard Brawl much? Uh oh, well, guess what? I've got another land, sir. <laughs> We ourselves have a 4-4. I knew I should have waited.
Take the draw. source I mean we could if they play something good we could nuke it into a one I can't wait for this fourth blizzard brawl Blizzard Brawls, free old growth trolls. Yes, and then hello, good game, me mid game. Wow. That's crazy, yo. have no words for them. you're getting smashed without relent yo for nine six baby Whew. this will be our seventh land so it can defend and survive Better than anything else we've done. <laughs> Better than anything else, Randy. You guys ready for the fourth Blizzard Brawl? Blizzard Brawl. Blizzard Brawl. No. I think that gets the win anyways, though, right? Now we hello. Wooga. Let them hit for Leaf. You have fun, bro. Oh no, that's not Leaf. I'm down to one. I thought that was Leaf. Oh. No. Ouchies. Shuffler's fine. Going first with a wacky hand. Wacky hand, yo. Let's make it work, people. Might have to be a green source to confirm our third land plays the Stomper, which can fix our mana. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Is a Cabaretti or Naya? These treasures are actually fairly good for us, building towards the Sculptor. If we can Arlen plus the Sculptor at Flash, Onculus. I don't even care if we Mystic Reflection it or not. So good. No land drop, ouch. Kinda like, uh, not that bad. Not that bad, yo.
in one foul swoop we end this man's whole career. I mean, copying our Stomper wouldn't be bad either for the lands, but it's like, how do you not play the Fleet Foots? Do not do that. And immediately copy them with the Chariot that loses its stunning signature. Right? Jiki Jiki though. They're in the copying business also. We want to hold up instant speed and kill the fleet foot that we copy with the chariot on the stack so you know we losing all of our interaction before they inter themselves interact four mana oh wow they actually just have another one themselves an organic one that's fantastic not blocking because they could have removal and I don't want that we have plenty of life gain ourselves Five hits. Copy the fleet foot. Here's the interaction. If it was on the chariot, it should have been first, but I believe it'll be on the token here. Because if it's not on the token, we still get it. Oh, but it is on the chariot. We still get the token. Alright, they're going to take out an innkeeper with Kiki Jiki. Anyways, up. Maybe we shouldn't have attacked the ink there, probably. I was like a bull I just seen red let's go I mean this isn't fantastic oh right we always take one of their theirs if we can get it And them having another uh, angel fire is pretty crazy. <laughs> we just go for it. I would love to have them all enter with counters. This is going to take them away from us, though, probably, as well. Take the wolves, grab the life gain. No attacks. Freaking Fleetfoot's a 6-6. Six, six. Gonna go to 9-9. Nine, nine. Plus there's another 4-4. Four, four. Can't kill it this turn. Hopefully they don't have any more angel. The vigilance fucks us. Pardon my language. Sorry. Not good. Blocks. Blocks. 
interesting they're not casting it. Anything here, so I, th I think it's like a Valor stance or something. Oh. Wow. That's interesting. Need a red source. Need a uh, white source. Weird flex, but okay. Let's take our draw. That's where this ends. Woof. Alright. So let's get something started here. Turn one. Not happening, but turn two and turn three. There at least. Innkeeper out. Tap the in Sentinel. Hopefully we pop deck a land. No, never do. Maybe we just need to run like a land. I guess we could slam announcements, attack for two for the draw. If we really needed. Not getting the draw here. It's hurting. Let's try to attack and pull mana before we into a counter spell. In fact, I refuse to play my announcement spending my treasure into the counter spell. So if you're going to counter this, you know, here you go. March. Yeah. All yours. I mean, I'm assuming we're playing against angels. Maybe it's connive. Really? Don't make me do this. Ass. Just Spurious Sentinel coming right up. You're breaking so hard. Two lands, nice. I mean, I can almost guaranteed counter magic here, so let's not have it hit the chariot. Hit Arlen instead. There, there. Yep. Making lots of little meat hook cookies. For our opponent to eat up. Gobble, 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 right? <laughs> Just looking for their second black source. Let's try it again. Nice life gain. Deluge. I'm gonna wipe the field here. It's it's sad, but whatever. They only have six lands out. We only... There's seventh. 
Right? I don't know how to come back from this. Try, but... Yeah. We just bricked way too hard off the start. And now, you know, anything we do get is going to be dealt with one by one. We haven't seen this since, like, the first game. I was dropping it match after match after match. Algorithm said no. Oh, nice. Memory Dailies for seven. Thank you. I mean, I don't even know why we're doing this. I already feel bad for being... But I hate rewarding control players. Both gonna sit here. They're like, no, I'm taking it. <laughs> oh, oh. Farewell, such a busted card. Game. Going first. We can keep this. I mean, any turn one sentinels, most likely a keep, especially if you have a second land to back it up. Just looking for another creature. It's gonna help us get there. Plus four. Oh, cancel. Foretell our reflection for later. For one. Myth using artifacts. When it enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal an artifact card from among them, put it into your hand. The rest go into the bottom of your library in a random order. We're gonna make the second creature here just for one. So the Sentinel has something to tap next turn for our fourth mana. We can swing in with the Sentinel here as well. We can find a land we have Reflection available through the Sentinel. I don't know what we would take. Silly. I guess no blocks past turn. I'm not falling for that. Flash artifact. Ninjitsu. Oh. He do get punished for not interacting. There you go. I like it. Just fill the field. We go Arlen first, then the Chariot Cats are three threes. I think we'll double block the Tactician. Technician? Tactician's pretty cool too, though. Another automation. Deadly, deadly, deadly. You okay, dude? On my signal, the hunt begins. This isn't bad. You know, two three threes is fairly acceptable. No attacks and turn. Really having a hard time with our land. You know, no land, all land. No land, all land. One or the other. Really frustrating. And that's why mana fixing like the Sentinel is so important. We have 24 lands in the build, right? No. No lack of that. These automations are going to get way too big. Way too quick. 
Same as a smith. We have to... Oh my gosh, that is good. This is just a chump block then, I guess. For two turns. A 7-7. Seven, seven. Oof. They may as well swing with everything, eh? Pretty dangerous, actually, but... Should have blocked with the chariot. Right? We should have definitely blocked with the chariot and a cat. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Great. But all we need is, uh, you know, a casual seven more mana. We have Gold Hound. We have Sentinel. That's going to account for two. Um, but still, a little ways out. Hot shot's fine. It's not great, but. I mean, it's just a 4-4 next time. I think it's just a chump lock again. Better than giving him a triple. I triple block with the cat and take two of them. No land. Last turn. Have you seen any of my land? Uh, we, we flip Arlen to Nike. She can plus two to help us fix our mana. Uh, Sentinel's a blue source, and we're good to go, right? We flash out Goldhound, and we have March also to hit here. So next turn we have one, two, three, four, five, seven. It's not the reflection, but we can kill Tezra anyways if we need. As we leave it, we could have reflected Tezra into a Sentinel or a Wolf. My next breakthrough is close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
Not great. Our flyers can kill Tezzeret. So far back on mana. Bankbuster's great. They have removal. Oh, they just bounce it. But we're never replaying it, right? That's uh, that's not great. Those will throw out another blocker instead. So they're tapped out. That kind of messes up our reflection also. And, you know, at a certain point, we just have to start dealing with this. I guess we march Michiko. It's so cheap. Couple blocks across, hit for seven, down to eleven. Hopefully, there's no field wipe. Gotta kill that Tezzeret. I guess hindsight, since our soul was dealt with, we should have, you know, dealt with it immediately. Still no land. That's ridiculous. Like, how does this happen? How? <laughs> I don't understand. Then if they're going to double block the chariot, we can march one of their blockers away. Should triple block it. Good trade. You'll Still a little worried because we only have three mana. Like, okay, cool. Ow. You know what I mean? We have 24 land in the deck and consistently either being flooded or bricking. Kind of hard to showcase a deck when that happens. I am the Emperor this is good. I mean, exile on the flyer. Right, take out that token. Is it permanent? No, it's just creature. Chariot's not a creature. Which means I should have kept it in hand for next turn. May as well pick the angel. This is what you get for hurting my people. Draw. I 
fairly frustrating. Lots of draw here. They've drawn more cards than we have land. This turn. Crazy. I didn't know they were playing land destruction. Really? I mean, I'm taking it. I've got to find that land one way or another. not gonna draw land I'll find one myself <laughs> what it to be a blue source Four in on Teferi. we're not using the chariot this turn because they just would double block it okay with me. May as well, you know what I mean, single block two of them. Alright, Machiko's been dealt with. Um, we can defend this tactician with the chariot if we need, crewing the stomper. I guess I'm kind of worried about a farewell again. Tezzeret should have been dealt with 2,000 years ago. It's drawn 45 cards for them. Surge Hacker on the flyer. Nice move. I like it. Born to Drive is such a good one. Like it. Plus one, plus one for a strike. Then we block. We might keep it. Or I don't know. Oh, they're just gonna... But they must have another in hand. Right? They have a second Wanderer. That was way too audacious. Lots of pilots, too, for these, these crew-ups. Worrisome. Mind link, oh my god. That's not good. I have no other move. That's how desperate I am here. Literally how desperate I am. For humans and werewolves alike. Pair stompers, please. I'll draw my own land. <laughs> I hate this craziness. Need a second stomper to trigger. Six, that's seven, which brings on our emancipation, which is nice. They can crew these willy-nilly, which is going to hurt us a lot. But it's the only way to get that seventh land. But we'd just be crewing into a fine. I think we might just die anyways. You know, kind of too little too late, 15 turns without drawing a land. though for sure surprised they didn't just mine us 
I guess I have lots of crew anyways. Just keep drawing the advantage. They're down to 28. We're at 40. They have 10 lands. We're up to 6. We did... You know, we played 3 lands last turn. Doubled our land count in one turn. <laughs> Alright, so Mind Link Mech is out. Just as itself. Not been crew, it's just been made into a vehicle. Same goes with the mech. A lot of damage. Uh, we only have... You know, I think we're dead. We can block with the chariot. But, yeah. We actually don't want the main one to die. Fine if a token dies. Or, sorry, the opposite of that. It's fine if the main one dies. We don't want the token to die. That's why we tap it. Alright, we just throw the chariot out there so they know they'll have to contend with it. Okay, playing so conservative. Taking Arlen. We had innkeepers for life gain. Civilization encroaches further. Play the innkeeper. The game. It's almost like they know what's in our hand. No, they, they, they do. They can see our emancipation. They're like, oh, well, now they're going to gain, you know, four life on top of that. Arlen Soul Ripper. Getting the job done. Now, what could we do to make this deck more competitive? Well, I could spend more time with it and you know learn how to play it a little bit better it's one thing to build the decks in theory but when you're building you know multiple multiple decks a day because you guys don't even get to see all of the decks that i build on youtube that's reserved for twitch because not all of them are keepers some of them are straight up flops you know what i mean they don't perform well i'm just like well i can't have anyone spending their wall cards on this it's not working um so we're making so many new decks that it is easy to lose track of all of the in-depth play lines and strategies that you'll need to uh, have mapped out for the build. But, uh, you know, that's why we review the gameplay. And that's why we talk about those misplays. Because if I'm making a misplay, it's going to be common enough that maybe, I don't want to, you know, call anyone out. But a percentage of the watchers or the viewer base here will also make that misplay, right? Of course, some of you are MPLs. So, uh, you know, there's no, no need. Uh, MLPs. MPLs, you know. Oh, that's why I'm not included, right? <laughs> Anyways, play the deck, get some practice within it, you know, make sure you're mitigating or playing your reflection at the appropriate time so you're not nuking your planeswalker or anything like this. But most importantly, have a magical day. Let's add some more basics to the deck so we can combo off with the Stomper more often. And, uh, you know, I think we're going to have a fun time with it. But I'll leave the list as it is for now, and you guys can make that adjustment as you see fit. Thank you so much for watching. Have a magical day. Make sure to like the video, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned because coming up soon, as soon as it's in the mail, we ordered two boxes of packs. We're going to open a pack at the end of every video. So thank you all so much. Cheers. We'll see you soon in the next.